Third Man really is the beginning of spycraft cinema in the UK. Without The Third Man, perhaps, maybe, no James Bond, who knows? You're on camera. Oh, yay. Give us a wave. <laughs> Hello, I'm John Walsh from Forbidden Planet London, signing copies of my new book, Third Man, the official story of the film, yeah. with three special guests Annabelle, Charlotte, and Ellie. Good afternoon, welcome to Forbidden Planet, where we are delighted to announce we're currently having a signing event taking place downstairs in the Bush Department, where we welcome John Walsh, who will be signing copies Ooh. of The Third Man, the official story of the film. We are also delighted to announce that we are joined today with special guest stars Annabelle, Charlotte, and Ellie. <laughs> will be here alongside John Wall to sign The Third Man, the official story of the film. Now it seemed the right time to come back to The Third Man. This year is the 75th anniversary of the film. It's getting a blisteringly sharp restoration and re-release by Studio Canal in 4K, both in cinemas and uh, on home video or on Blu-ray. So I wanted to do something that celebrated the film and managed to get new fans to take a, a fresh look because of course there's lots to see and lots to unpeel in The Third Man. The real story of how this film was made is in some ways more exciting and more thrilling than the film itself. For all of these books I always have burning questions. Why did they do it like that? Why this? Why not that? What were the deleted scenes? And you know for the third man I had those questions too. So I gathered around all of the papers and books that had been written about the film. There have been many of them. I was very surprised to find out how much source material there was out there. Many books, articles, there's been discussions about The Third Man, there's been documentaries, of course, commentary tracks too. And so really this is sort of a forensic take, a bit of it like an inquiry. When there's a public inquiry, you get together all of the witnesses, or when you listen to a cold case podcast murder, you want to get all of the original evidence and see what which evidence contradicts. And here there were different accounts from people on the film that did contradict. So we tried to bring those out into the open and give a firm view as to what we think the, uh, what the truth is. And I think for people reading the official story of the film, because this is licensed by the rights holder Studio Canal, they want to be sure that what they're seeing and what they're reading is the official version. I think we've done that this time, but with more unpublished photographs than in any of my books from before. Thrilled to be able to bring this to audiences 75 years after the film was first released. There's always a big choice to make here with so many images and so much information. What are the key stories to make it the official story of the film? And with photographs, here's my dilemma. Do you publish the best photographs that may have been seen before? Or do you want to publish the photographs that maybe are not as sharp or are slightly damaged that have never been seen before? And as a fan, I'm always curious to see things I haven't seen before. So we've made a, a balance here of the classic images of Harry Lyme in the doorway that you've seen before, but never in this high definition format. Studio Canal have restored many of the pictures here. I did some photo restoration, but the folks at the Third Man Museum in Vienna that have been running for decades helped me enormously with unpublished images, with unpublished photos, and with letters too from Graham Greene that have never been published before. So a real treasure trove here of, of things to see and read. The Third Man really is the beginning of spycraft cinema in the UK. Without The Third Man, perhaps, maybe, no James Bond, who knows? Check out The Third Man, take a look at my book, make your own mind up. The Third Man.